it's almost Christmas and I've decided to start recording my little homemade gifts ideas uh, so you guys can quickly go out and buy the materials and make it yourselves if you wanted to. So that's what I am going to do today. I'm very well organised, I have already prepared all my stuff like October time I believe I started preparing all this but there's nothing wrong with being organised, I like being organised and planning ahead and don't have to wait till last minute to get it all done so that's a bonus. I used a box that my parcel arrived in so I didn't have to buy a pamper basket but you, that's what you can do if you prefer that to make it a little bit more fancier just get a pamper basket that already has the tissue paper inside and the little bag to go on top and tight you know what I mean so basically what I just did was I had tissue paper and I sellotaped it inside and around the box and added a red ribbon added red ribbon around it and tied it up in a little bow so that will be really pretty and I added paper pad card thingies so it looks like that on the inside nice and finished off and I just decorated the lid and it's got little googly eyes can you see it's got googly eyes and a little smiley mouth and like little stickers so yeah that's my little pamper box for my mother and my boyfriend and his mum so yeah I've got, I've got three boxes actually I've done three lots of these four I have done four lots of these so much stuff I like doing crafts and making things so it's really nice so that's the box. I have notes because I can't remember what I am making. No, that's my shopping list. Okay, first of all, bath salts. Who does not love some bath salts? Pink Himalayan salts, Epsom salts. They are so beneficial for your skin um, when you're soaking in the bath. I decided to do two lots of these, sleepy sprinkles and princess sprinkles. The sleepy sprinkles is lavender i did want to add lavender leaves into it but i couldn't find dried lavender leaves anywhere and to pick them from the garden it can take weeks for them to properly dry out before adding it into the salt so i left it without the lavender leaves which is sad because it just looks plain but there's nothing wrong with that it's got epsom salts in it pink Himalayan salt and essential lavender oil yeah I added a little I bought the I bought all my materials from Hobbycraft yeah um, you can buy handmade with love stickers and little bits and bobs and the tags so you can attach them to the bags as well but I suppose you can buy them from any craft store or the pound shop um, little bags from the pound shop just to put them in. Yeah, what I've got on here is Lavender's tranquil properties will relax your body and soothe your soul. Add half the contents to your next bath for a calming aromatherapy. Lavender is so beneficial for just relaxing and calming your nerves. It has very great properties, so I do recommend Lavender. And the next one is Princess Sprinkles. It's princessy because it's got the pink Himalayan salts, the Epsom salts and the rose petals in it. So it looks really pretty and princessy. Enhance your skin and mood with these bath salts because rose enhances your skin. Because it's such a nice scent. So I decided to do that because it's pretty. And it'll look really pretty in the bath with the little rose petals as well. Yeah. That was just rose essential oil i bought my essential oils from holland and barrett that's where i um get my essential oils from but if you can get them cheaper anywhere else then do that because it is quite dear just for a little box that's the little box that it comes in and that's the little jar 
So I've done eight lots of these, but one of the people don't like the smell of lavender. So I went the extra mile to do a different one. So they all have two each. I've created a chamomile one for her sleepy sprinkles. Chamomile's tranquil properties will relax your body and mind. And yeah, so it's just the chamomile, it's the chamomile, it's the chamomile essential oils added into there with the pink Himalayan salts and the Epsom salts. But I just don't have chamomile leaves, so that looks pretty plain and boring. Oh well, it's the thought that counts at the end of the day. Uh, I just had a plastic box and I added, how much did I add? I don't know, I just put loads in. I think I added, because these are the bags that I used. I used that one and that one. It helps with relaxing your aging muscles and the pink Himalayan salts just help with cleansing your body. So they're very beneficial together. I think I put a whole, what did I do? I just put loads in basically. I didn't really measure anything. A whole bag of Epsom salts. Maybe a whole bag of pink Himalayan salts as well. And I think I had to go out and buy more because I ran out. It does take up quite a lot, especially if you're making eight, but if you're just making some for two or three people, then you're not gonna really need that much. So I just put them all in a plastic tub, mixed it all together, and I left a little bit behind so I can make the only one that is completely different from all the rest, the chamomile one. I halved the mixture, and then I started adding in the essential oils. I used a lot. It was quite a lot of salts, so I I just kept pouring and it took forever because the little drops just kept coming out rather, you know, so I just kept shaking the bottle till loads came out and I was satisfied with how strong the smell was. Because I made it over a month ago, I added quite a lot of the essential oils in, only to try and keep that scent up until Christmas. You don't have to follow these scents. You can do different ones. You do a tea tree oil one. I don't know. But yeah, so they're the little bags that I made and I just wrote on the labels. Attached them all together, tied it up and added the little red ribbon. Yeah, and they're like nice little cute little gift bags. I originally did want to use paper bags with like a little clear front, but so yeah, those are them. Let's put them in the box. The next thing I'm going to do is Christmas potpourri. That's just basically your nutmeg, your cloves, your cranberries and your cinnamon sticks and stuff like that just to give it a Christmassy smell on Christmas day. I still need to go out and buy the contents for the jar. Like I said, I'm organized, so therefore it's already all prepared, so I don't really need to do much. The label just gives the instructions of what they need to do. Just put it in the saucepan over low heat to let it simmer throughout the day and just to top it up with water every now and again when it gets too low and yeah, to enjoy the Christmassy smell on Christmas. It does say you can place it into the fridge once you've used it and it can keep to a month, but the people I'm going to give this to probably aren't going to keep it for a month and continue using it. It'll probably just get thrown at the end of Christmas night. It's the thought that counts, guys. So I'm really excited to do that. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm going to be making so many cookies, so many chocolate barks. With a chocolate box, I'm doing a white peppermint. It's just basically with white chocolate, with peppermint extract uh, mixed into that with candy canes crushed on top. So that's gonna be really nice. And I've got the bags for them. Um, I've already wrote out on the labels. So it's white peppermint bark, chocolate crunch bark, and rocky road. Who doesn't love rocky road? I do. Everything that I still need to make, I'll make sure that I'll be recording it and posting it on my channel as well so you guys can do it. But it won't be until like a few days before Christmas. So I think what I'll do is I'll 
leave links for the recipes I want to do in the description so you guys can make it earlier if you need to rather than having to wait a few days before Christmas to be able to make it and buy the ingredients because I know Christmas can be a very hectic time cookies okay so I'm doing a cranberry chocolate crunk cranberry chocolate chunk cookies that's what I'm gonna be making it's gonna be nice and gooey I'm gonna be doing Christmas shortbread so I'm making the shortbread from scratch and using my Christmas cutouts like stars and trees and all stuff like that and I won't be redecorating it much just a little bit of icing with some pretty snowflakey sprinkles on top of them but I run out of memory on my phone jammy biscuits uh, it's basically just like jammy dodgers but I'll be making my own jam so that's gonna be really nice I have got little reindeer hot chocolate it's just you thin it half you thin it like full of hot chocolate powder and then the rest mini marshmallows um, I added a little red pom-pom at the end I just used sellotape I think I could make this today actually I added some googly eyes on the bag as well so they're the eyes and that's the Rudolph's nose and then um, once it's all filled up, I'll be tying it off with some red ribbon and including the little antlers. Yes, I have already shaped them to look like antlers because like I said, I'm organised and I'm well prepared. And on the little tag, it just gives some instructions about placing milk into a saucepan, boil and add the hot chocolate powder, stirring occasionally. Optional to add whipped cream on top so that'll be really nice I've also got candy canes to stick behind the ribbon so they can use that to stir the hot chocolate or to just eat it whatever they prefer so I'm only doing two am I only doing two or three am I doing two or three I think I'm doing three of them I'll make those now so that's what I'm going to do BRB I'm back I've got my galaxy hot chocolate with mini marshmallows. Probably need a spoon. I've added the little handmade with love sticker on everything. I've just got a, a measuring tool thing. I'm not measuring, I am just pouring. Will that be enough actually? bit more because why not ah oh, that looks so cute oh my god I had this idea because I think I was looking for some uh, Christmas gift ideas and this came up but to buy the actual thing already made it was about four quid or something um, which is not bad, but you only get the one. Whereas I bought the bags for way less than that and I can make more. And I already had the hot chocolate. The marshmallows were way less than a pound from Aldi. So, mm. it's okay. When you open the marshmallows. got it so then I am just going to oh my gosh a little bit more with that my little tray of all my DIY stuff my little craft things and I need 
those little things. You can't forget those to tie this off. Make sure it's really tight so there's no air getting to it, otherwise the marshmallows are definitely going to dry out. Oh, I'm actually so excited. is that I it doesn't take much to make me happy <laughs> I'm so happy can't forget the candy canes either it's those little candy canes these are also from oh no these are from Tesco I think were they a pound I think they were probably a pound or it wouldn't be more than a pound uh, and there's ten in the pack so that's very beneficial I don't know where to put the ribbon on first, or the antlers. Antlers, then the ribbon. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's Christmas time. Mistletoe and wine. I can't sing to save my life. Let's turn it around some more to make it a little bit smaller, maybe. I am actually so, so stoked with how this is turning out so far. It's just too cute. It's too cute, guys. It's too cute. And I am just doing the little bow because having ribbon around it and having a little bow on it just makes it that much cuter. I can't do bows to save my life. That would do. Didn't need a little gap. Let's just try and poke this through without poking a hole into anything. I should have put the candy canes. Let's unt oh oh no, I can put it there actually. At the top there. I'm a mess. Shall I put them behind the face or in front of the face? Behind. I'm squishing the marshmallows. Trying to stick two candy canes on is more difficult than I thought. Take those out. Don't forget to attach the tag. So I am just going to thread that through. So then I can tie that onto it. I just don't know. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Ooh, where's my bow gone? There you have it, the wonky antlers. The little candy canes on there, that is that is so cute. Making gifts um, from scratch. It's just so thoughtful because you've put so much effort into it. That took me so long just to make sure I've got the candy canes wrapped onto it as well. Um, but that would do. I am so pleased with that. I am so, I am so happy. That is just so, I've got a new friend. So that is going to go into the little box. In each box as well, I've done a little card for them. It just says, Merry Christmas, please enjoy these homemade gifts that I have put a lot of time and effort into making. Please turn over. And it just has like this nice little, enjoy a nice hot bath with either princess sprinkles or sleepy sprinkles. Why not make yourself a hot chocolate with what is provided and indulge the homemade chocolate bark while soaking in the bath. 
Don't forget to put the potpourri on the stove and sneak away to devour the homemade cookies and biscuits. I love coming up with stuff like that. It's just so cute. So then that will go into the box as well to be read. And then all I've got to do now is make the cookies and make the chocolate bark and I will be doing that maybe the 21st, 22nd of December. So it is pushing it quite close. So I will definitely put in the description below the ingredients or links to anything so you guys can get the ingredients earlier and if you need to make it earlier as well. So yeah, I can't wait to do that actually. That one's for my little brother. He's probably going to watch this. Oh wow. Well. Oh well, I'll tell him not to. I'll say, no, can't watch it. Not allowed. Santa won't be coming to give you your presents. He doesn't believe in Santa anymore, he's 10. I'm doing this video and the people who I have made these for are most likely going to watch it and now they're going to know what I've made at the The surprise will be ruined. I'll tell them not to watch it. As if they'll do anything I say. The little giggly eye. Now I'm just going to swirl it around a few times. Just so it stays in place. Look like an antler. Goes up, down, up, and oh, that would do. Don't forget to add the labels. So let's tie that on, and then. Add the candy canes. It can be quite difficult. Ooh, check me out doing it with one hand. That is just so cute. How cute is that? I absolutely love it. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And definitely don't forget to click on that notification bell so you will be updated every time I post. Especially when I upload those recipes for the chocolate bark and the cookies. And if you make these gifts at home, take photos and link them in the comments below so I can have a look at your creations. If you have any other ideas, please share those too so we can share our Christmas gift ideas together. And I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.